Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. How would you create a load summary email logic in SSIS package? This is a very important uh, part of SSIS package. When you are creating a SSIS package, uh, what you want to do at the end of the package, you want to send an email with the summary of the uh, number of records extracted, number of records uh, uh, loaded number of records rejected number of lo uh, records updated number of records uh, deleted and uh, all those uh, counts uh, what can help uh, your team to understand the load and let's go to the SSDT and I'm going to show you how you can do it here in the uh, data flow task I have I am reading the data from uh, OLEDB source that's uh, calling a store procedure and I'm loading the data into the multicast right now is just for the test purpose think about that on this side of the multicast we are loading some records to to the destination so we are loading here and then what we have here on the other side we are updating some records updating and uh, then we can have a delete and all those kind of thing and we might have lookups here uh, to see if uh, we, we want to pass uh, them uh, through those records or not so whichever the task are good records or bad record according to the lookup data we want to reject them or let them go and load and update that so you can have different uh, transformations uh, in your data flow task uh, that you are using to um, move uh, your uh, records to the uh, destination or uh, move to the error output so here what we need to do we need to have variables so I'm going to say loaded var loaded account CNT that variable is going to contain uh, the number of rows loaded to the table then we can have another variable called var updated count so that's how we can have the variable for the number of records which are uh, updated. So here I have to use those transformation that can use these variables. So I, I, I can use a row count that will save the number of counts in these variables which flowed from this multicast to the loading multicast. So I'm going to use it var load count here and then I'm going to use another row count transformation to get the updated records here okay now when I have uh, the record count for the loaded the record count for the updated I can have actually right after this one I can have uh, a, re a, re a variable called var extracted count so this will give us uh, the total number of records they, those were extracted uh, from the source itself before even uh, we did loaded or rejected or uh, uh, updated so we can use here we can select all go to format and say auto align and diagram that's how we can align them let me make it a little small so you can see that's how they will be looking okay now we have the counts uh, saved into the variable next part is building uh, our send mail uh, body so we have to build the body for the send mail task uh, here we will be using those variables so you make a connection to the send mail uh, task that will be using SMTP server so you will make a connection then you go to expressions uh, in the inside the expressions uh, you will be going to the uh, let's see where you will be going let me find out the exact name so you will have message source here this is your body of the email so you will be going here and then you will be writing hi all and then you will say um, we will put comma then uh, you can go to next line and add it and uh, if uh, next line maybe doesn't work here when you hit enter so then you have to uh, add backslash n that will be next line in this case so if I will show you the test let's see if it, yeah so you have to add backslash n that will be next line if you have one two of them 
double times so you have to backslash and backslash and that's how you do it and uh, you will be saying uh, you can see the here and here you will be saying uh, the package and then when you say package you do not want to write the package name here hard coded you want to use the package name itself from the package name variable because once the package name is changed uh, and there is possibility you might change package name later so it should read from the package name variable and that's how it will be updated automatically so you don't have to come in the expressions and change it uh, is completed successfully and next uh, you will say here are the record count now you will be using all those variables uh, let's say you will say uh, here let me put a new line and then uh, So we can see right here, say it's loaded successfully. Now what we want to write, uh, we'll say total rows extracted. And then it will be your variable, what we have here, total uh, var extracted count, that one we can use it. When we created this variable, um, this, this this was integer so if I will uh, try to add this one to the uh, the expressions uh, it will throw an error it say okay um, it's not possible because compat incompatible to the uh, other string so I have to convert uh, this uh, uh, integer to the string so I can use dt underscore str underscore uh, let's say 10 is the max length and I will use 1252 that's the code I will use this one to convert it now if you see here I have it is given a zero because we didn't run the package and it's uh, whatever the value is saved as of uh, in the this variable that's what it is showing us so that's how you will copy and paste uh, and uh, then change the variable names and keep using it and build uh, the body of your email and uh, this will this will be called your uh, summary email successful summary email the same way you can build uh, your email for failure on the event handlers as well so you can use error code, error description, and uh, uh, source name. That will be your task name, which failed. So that's how we do um, create uh, the summary email for the load. Thanks very much for watching this video, and I will see you next video.